Well, welcome back, YouTube. We are continuing Shadow of the Colossus Remake on PS4. We have 10 Colossus down, and we're gonna go take on number 11. I don't remember what this one is. Go out here and let's look around. Pointing us that way, so... I have a hunch of what this one might be. Also, if you look up in the sky, you can see the lights. Those lights go directly down to where you defeated Colossi before. It's actually pretty cool. Ah, I think I know what this one is. This one's really small, but he's very aggressive. I remember right, this one doesn't like fire, though. We gotta use fire to our advantage. It's actually in a pit right next to the bridge. So we're actually probably gonna go right under the bridge to get to it. Yeah, we'll just cross it right here. But there's a pit right next to this this bridge. There's like a small pond at the bottom, and a little a little temple down there. Yeah, it's over there where those rocks are. You can see the rocks. It's actually a pit. I think if I jump off of the right place. I can just jump off and fall into the water and not die. Or you take the safe way down, which is just a path over on the right side. But I'm going to try to just do this the quick way. Hopefully I can jump off at the right time and have the right momentum. Like so. That didn't work. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back in a second. Jump off right here. You know what? I think I'll just take the walk of shame. Okay. Since I failed twice trying to get down there the fast way, I'm going to take the walk of shame. The long way down. The safest way. Not really the fun way. Normally, I like to just jump off from the top and land in that little pond right there, but if you land in the wrong part of the pond, you can die still. This pond is not too deep. Anyway, our destination's up there at that temple. Got a very aggressive little colossi in there. The smallest one so far. Don't let his little size fool you. He's very tough. And if he hits you, he can knock you knock you out for long enough just to put you in a damage loop. Which kind of sucks. So we'll see if this goes better than my uh, traversal.
All right, here we go. He's actually right above me right now. We gotta jump to his little arena over here before he comes out. Kind of like a bull or a cat. I'm like a cat. A cat with horns. Okay, you want to get up here on those pillars? He's gonna charge it. He knocked me off. The jerk. Even though I had a grip on, I, he still knocked me off. Got to get that torch down there. Pick it up. I forgot how to pick up torches. There we go. I gotta light it. And he does not like fire at all. Gotta back him up. Fire might actually go out before we get over there, so I might have to make a detour. Oh, we backing up. Hopefully the fire lasts. There we go. Okay, it lasted long enough. They broke the armor on his back. Now we got to get on his back quickly, or else it's going to be real hard to get on him. Got him. We just gotta wait for an opportunity to strike. Got him. That went a lot better than me trying to get down here in the first place. <laughs> That went pretty smoothly. Well, Eleven down, back to the temple. All right, moving on to number 12. This one is uh, another tricky one. If you don't know what you're doing. But his weak point is actually underwater, and we can't get to it. We can't access it. So we got to get him to kind of pick himself up out of the water so you can get access to his weak point. But to do that, you got to get on top of him. To get on top of him, you have to swim really fast around him to get on his back. Yeah. 
Ooh, easy there, aggro. Pass by that beautiful waterfall. Absolutely gorgeous waterfall. And the one we are looking for is actually over there, where those pillars are. Yeah! In order to get to them, we gotta go around through a small forest and around the side of that cliff over there. You can see the path. And then we gotta do some swimming before he starts coming out. through another beautiful forest. Fantastic lighting. I think we can just skip through this way. Yeah, so we gotta go this way. We won't need aggro for this one because uh, the arena is pretty much water. Yeah, it's up there. You gotta swim through that. For some reason, aggro won't move pretty yeah. fast through this. Which is fine. So faster than being on foot, really. Silver tailed lizard. He's safe for now because I don't need him anymore. We climb up here. Or not. Just climb around. You don't have to climb up. Climb around here because you don't want to drop and go down a waterfall. Get on this side of the pillar. up through here. I like to get as far up here as possible and then normally jump off, get some distance, but it's fine. And then you swim through these pillars and get into the arena where we fight this colossi. We're going to make use of those structures in the water. And you do swim faster underwater, so it's good to swim underwater as much as you can. And you get up here and he should come out. Yep, there he is. For some reason he has teeth on his head. They are very sensitive. We're going to use that to manipulate him to get him to where we want him to go. Okay, let's get in the water. Go underwater and try to swim around him. You got to get behind him. I don't think he can hit you underwater with his projectiles while you're underwater. Just keep going. Eventually you'll swim 
fast enough and get around to him and grab onto his back. Maybe climb up to the top and get to his head. And try to shake me off. What you want to do is you want to try to steer them to those structures and you want to get on top of that structure. As soon as you stop being a jerk. Go forward. It's definitely not close enough for me to jump onto it. And turn. I should be able to make it now. And jump up here, get behind this column. He'll try to shoot you. And you just wait for him. He'll come. He'll dive down like that. Then he'll come up. And this will give you the opportunity to jump on his belly where his weak point is. And you just stab it. And that should be it. You would have to do this multiple times because one stab ain't gonna kill him normally. But that is number 12. We only got four left. Back to the temple. Alright, 12 down, 4 to go, and this next one is my favorite one, and it's a lot of people's favorite colossi. It's Phalanx, number 13. I will see you all in the next episode, where we continue our journey through this game. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later.